It had been a long wait. After about seven and a half months, I turned to my friend and said, it feels like you've been pregnant forever. <laughs> and her response was curt and to the point. Tell me about it. <laughs> I don't quite know if she was trying to say that she too was sort of done with this or if she was saying, Gary, stop talking. <laughs> pregnant women wait. They are expecting. That's what they do. At first, they wait for the right time to tell loved ones. Then they wait for the sickness to pass. Then they wait for the scans and the tests. They wait for the quickening, those reassuring flutters and kicks. They wait, never quite knowing if everything's OK, but trusting that it is. Finally, they wait for the first signs of labor. They wait for the midwives and the doctors to arrive. They wait for that first cry and for the news that it's a healthy boy or a girl. They spend most of a year waiting. There are no, no halfway points, really, when it comes to pregnancy. There's no halos that come with it, really, and it's not very glamorous. But it's what they do. Many wait to get pregnant, and that's excruciating and maddening. Pregnant women wait. Pregnant waiting is worrisome and frustrating. Recently, a young couple from our community waited to be sure she stayed pregnant. They prayed earnestly not to see the blood that indicates a possible miscarriage. They prayed with family and, your, and friends for the baby to stay inside of them long enough to be well. It was harrowing, not haloing, to be praying those years, those months. Every day mattered. Every day, as you know, is vital. Once the water breaks too soon, if it's not far enough along the way, there's a good chance it's life or death. So every day, praying, horizontal, bed rest, don't move. Pray that baby stays inside of you. To be pregnant is to be vitally alive, thoroughly woman, and distressingly inhabited. Along with the body being stretched, I dare say the soul is stretched as well, making pregnancy a time of incredible change, tremendous change, transition, growth, and new beginnings. Wait it out, many are told when they start to complain. Wait it out. I wonder if Mary was ever told that. Wait it out. These things blow over in time. The vomiting will end in the second trimester. Mary would have been familiar with the words of Isaiah. They that wait for the Lord will soar as with eagle's wings. But I bet Mary kept it real and told those non-pregnant advice givers that waiting sucks. I hope she told them in no uncertain terms that she was too heavy now to fly like an eagle. <laughs> I hope she told them that growing a person inside your own body and supporting inside her body a whole new ecosystem does not renew strength, but as a matter of fact can sap every ounce of strength they seem to have. Any woman pregnant with life any woman awaiting the adoption of a child, any woman expecting, becomes a living example of Advent in her own flesh, which brings home to the rest of us the deep truth of what it means to be expecting. All people are expecting 
and all things are expecting. The universe itself is expecting and all the time expecting. I can point to places in the night sky now that are a womb of the universe where stars are even now about to be born. The whole universe is expecting. John the Baptist was expecting. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was expecting. Jesus himself was expecting a whole new world to be arriving with great labor pains. Many in our community are expecting. I love every year, almost every year, it's, as Advent comes to a close, the two central figures, the two central figures of Advent meant to catapult us into Christmas are two pregnant women, a very young woman named Mary and a very old woman named Elizabeth. And those two pregnant women embracing are an incredibly profound image of what's at the heart of Advent. The realities of pregnancy are great resources in helping us understand what it means to be a people of faith in 2018 in this world. In the rush of the season, there is always in our lives that mix of joy and pain, wonder and discomfort, hoping, messiness, love, unpredictability, and everything in between. In both pregnancy and the spiritual life, waiting can be tiring, frustrating, full of worry. With all eyes on the prize, the journey itself to get there becomes no more than a tedious means to that expected wonderful end. We can be the same in our spiritual lives. We want deliverance from all this, all this on the way to this. We want it to be over. We want those challenges to go away. We want spiritual maturity without discipline, the discipline required every day to be spiritually mature. We focus way more on the glorious end, heaven, more than living on earth together. We focus on Jesus, not Mary. We focus on the baby, not the pregnancy, not the expecting. Every prayer in Advent is full of expecting. Advent is inviting you and me to look for the lessons of pregnancy for all of us. Here's one. Although the waiting sucks, yet rushing to the end, rushing to the end, discounting the significance of every day along the way can actually diminish the quality of life. We need each day between conception and birth to grow that life inside of us and to be ready for it when it comes. We need each and every day along the way, not just the end. We need to learn along the way how to live with discomfort, you and I, and the unknowns. Not because it makes us stronger, but because it makes us human. We need to learn how to let something inside of us that is unseen to us, that other free ones can actually feel really to be there, that others can feel inside of us but cannot see, and begin to make a place for it in our lives. It's a whole lot like God's spirit. The God's spirit inside of every single one of us, something inside of us, unseen to us, kicking, fluttering along the way to remind us that God is there inside of us. Those moments when we sense that there's something more to life than just the mundane and the everyday we get so anxious about, so caught up in. Every once in a while I get that flutter, that kick from the inside. That's God's spirit saying, I'm here. I'm really here. There's more to you than meets the eye to let us know that we're not alone. 
another lesson from pregnant women for us this Advent. It's at the heart of it, I think. It doesn't happen on our time, you see. Pregnancy doesn't occur, the birth doesn't happen when we want it to or expect it to. Pregnancy happens in God's time. The process of pregnancy is nothing we can control. That's the hardest truth of life for so many of us. The fact that we can't control this. We, can't, we can only do some basic things, and the rest is totally outside of our control. And we have to honor that. We have to bow to that. This all happens because we surrender to a process, not the product, but the process along the way. This is about more than a product, it is. This happens on God's time. And so we're forced, you and I, to slow down, to trust in God that things can be accomplished, will be accomplished in the fullness of time. We can expect that. And one last lesson. There are times when we have to be quiet enough to hear that other heart beating inside of us. It's only sometimes at the end of a day, it's only sometimes when the house is still, that a mom senses that other heartbeat or heartbeats. She's having twins. <laughs> beating inside of us. When will we ever be silent enough to hear the heartbeat of God inside of the beating of our own heart? To learn those lessons be we women or men, be we children or grown-ups, is to learn joy. Irma Bombeck. Many people my age would probably remember her. She was a writer in the St. Louis Post-Dispatch who I very much enjoyed reading. A humorist, a mom. Sometimes she could be so tender, and sometimes she could make me laugh out loud. But these are the words she wrote not long before she died. If I had my life to live over, instead of wishing away nine months of pregnancy, I'd have cherished every moment and realized the wonderment growing inside me was the only chance in life to assist God in a miracle. Feels like we've been pregnant forever. That's because we are. We are always 